This is how I would learn to code if I could start over. I've been coding for over 3 years and in this video I'll walk you through everything from the very start, what to learn, which resources to use and the right way to approach it, all the way up to the step most people get wrong after they've covered the basics and can't make any more progress. The first big question every beginner has, what programming language should I learn? The simple answer is, it depends on your goal. Let's say you want to become a data scientist, I'd recommend just googling the most popular languages used for data science. In that case, you'll probably land on Python. If you want to do web development, there are more options. I'm obviously biased towards C Sharp because that's what this channel is about, but you would also go with JavaScript or even Python again. I'm not really going to tell you one specific language, probably not the answer you wanted. Well, I guess I kind of did say C Sharp, didn't I? But if you're not in school where they might require a specific language or if you're looking at job postings and see one language is more in demand than others, then going with the most popular one is what I'd recommend. You'll find more resources online to learn it and it's usually what most companies use as well. To keep things in perspective though, the most important thing with your first language is that the real focus is on learning programming itself, so don't overthink it, that's what matters most. Now once you've chosen a language, the next challenge is knowing what to actually learn. This is where most of us get overwhelmed, because today there's just too much information. A billion tutorials, courses and random advice everywhere, that's exactly how it felt to me in the beginning and yeah, that's not ideal or fun. The easy way to overcome this is to find a roadmap or a curriculum that lays out what you need to learn for the kind of developer you want to become. I've made one specifically for C Sharp and .NET developers, it's free, linked below, but if you're learning something else, find a roadmap from a trusted source you can find online, maybe a YouTuber you like, or at the very least just ask AI to give you a beginner friendly roadmap. Really, any of these approaches is way better than trying to deal with all the chaos of random information that you're faced with on your own. What's hard to grasp when starting out, but also crucial, is the big picture. You can find yourself stuck, not knowing why you're learning what you're learning, and without a zoomed out overview of how an application actually works. For example, if you're doing web development, let's say with C Sharp or Python, your app will have three main parts. The backend, where you write the logic of the application, handling requests, talking to the database, running tasks. The database, where you store and manage your data, and the front-end, the part of the app users interact with, usually built with at least HTML and CSS. Having an introductory course or just one few hour video you can find on YouTube would be terrific. And even just having the roadmap we talked about gives you that big picture. Most roadmaps follow the same structure. First, you learn the programming language itself. After that, you learn the framework, which is a collection of tools and libraries that allow you to build the applications you want with that programming language. Then you move on to the other parts of building an app, like the database and different components of your application. So keeping things simple, I'd say stick with those two, the roadmap and an introductory video. Now, when it comes to resources, I personally learn best from YouTube videos, but I don't rely on that. Official documentation is the best place for syntax or figuring out how to do specific things, for example connecting your project to a database. When it comes to solving problems with the code you're writing, I'd usually hit Stack Overflow. Chances are another developer already ran into the same problem years ago and there's a solution waiting there for you and you only, <laughs> because life is that kind. But if not, I'll give AI like ChatGPT or Gemini as much context as I can and let it point me in the right direction. That combination is what's worked best for me. I've done a slightly longer video about it, roaming somewhere on the screen right now, but that's really about it. That said, the resource itself matters less than how you use it. You have to be proactive. Just watching tutorials or reading will not, unfortunately for both you and me, will not actually teach you how to code. Even with basics like loops or variables, if you don't actually write your own code, test it and play around with it to see what errors you run into, you won't really understand it. For example, if you've never created an infinite loop by accident, you don't really know how loops work yet. You won't know what to pay attention to or how to write them better. Coding is full of details like that, there's no way to include 
everything that can go wrong in a book or tutorial and absolutely no way you'll remember them without experiencing it yourself. Getting into the fun part, once you've got some basics, let's say you've learned variables, logic, methods, and maybe some object-oriented programming, you need to build a project. I said it's the fun part, I didn't lie, but it's also where a lot of beginners freeze. What should I build? Honestly, I'd go straight to AI for ideas. Just tell it, give me project ideas based on the topics I've learned so far, or even use a bit of imagination. There's probably an app you like and that you'd enjoy building that seems useful or cool. And you can simply ask, what's the most basic version of this I could try to build myself? For example, if you want to build an e-commerce app, you don't need a full-blown Amazon store. You just need the bare minimum version. Maybe just start by putting items on the screen, an image, some text. Way later, you can add a way to connect them with a payment processor. Start there. And whatever you do, it's worth emphasizing. Don't just copy-paste tutorials. Use them to understand the structure of an app if you want, but then tweak things, add features, and actually try solving problems yourself. That's what will put you into developer mode more than anything. Once you've built your first application, what's next is just build another one. It's really about building more and applying what you learn along the way. Add new things to each project, which will naturally force you to learn new topics. All of this will add up to your skills, plus you'll get better at problem solving each time, at researching and at adding new features to your app. Even parts you didn't fully understand before will start making sense. That's the simple way to go about it, in my opinion. That's just how it works. So that's how I'd learn to code if I could start over. If you're getting into web development, especially with C Sharp and .NET, you can get my direct help inside the .NET squad. I'll link it below. Otherwise, I've made a video explaining the three biggest lessons I've learned as a coder, which I really believe will give you some clarity. It's on the screen now, so click on it and I'll see you there.